In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Lando Calrissian for the Vintage Collection, based upon his appearance from Cloud City and The Empire Strikes Back. So this figure has become a subject of a lot of memes and a lot of jokes over the last few years. I think Hasbro overestimated the demand that there would be for uh, an Empire Strikes Back Lando. It's a fantastic action figure. It's the best Lando we've ever gotten in 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. Unfortunately, Hasbro packed like three, two or three per case, I'm pretty sure. And while Lando is one of the main characters of the original trilogy, I think he fits more into the niche category. He's not something that any general collector is going to buy for their collection. It's mostly for the OT Pyrrhus or the, maybe those that are a little bit more engaged with Star Wars compared to most people. But for the casual collector or someone that's after just a few specific ones, Lando's not usually one of those characters that comes to mind for most people. And unfortunately to this day, even at the time of this video, this Lando's been out for almost two years now. And he's still clogging up the shelves at just about every major retailer you can think of. I know for me, my local Walmart has been stacked up on Lando's for many months now. It might be over a year at this point. And unfortunately those are not going to move even at clearance prices. Some of them go for seven dollars even at these retailers and they still don't move the stock unfortunately lando is one of those characters that just doesn't move similar to like casting and or ray and for some reason hasbro keeps re-releasing lots of landos not just in the not so much in the tvc line but in the black series that skiff guard lando's gotten so many releases and of course just about every store you go into you can always find a skiff guard lando it's a wonder one of these days Hasbro doesn't reveal a carbonized gift guard Lando at this rate. Regardless though, this is a much needed release. Uh, Lando needed to be put in the TVC line to complete the original Kenner figures. It is a fantastic action figure and chances are we're never going to see an Empire Strikes Back Lando ever again. Unless he's uh, in the Smuggler's outfit like the 30th anniversary release, but I highly doubt we'll even see that. So I think this will probably be the last time we get the Cloud City Lando Calrissian. So first let's take a look at the package here. I think that's mostly faithful to what we originally got back in 1980. It looks really good. It's a very nice image of Billy D. Williams there. He does have a lot of interesting movies outside of Star Wars if you ever want to check those out. really like the color textures they use for this too. It looks really nice. This is VC-205. I have every single one of these action figures featured on the back of here. I have Palpatine Reviewed, now Lando, uh, the Royal Guard, and eventually the IG-11, Hoth Luke, Endor Han, Akbar, and Tebow a review eventually. So that's the package. It's for the figure itself. Like I said, this is probably the best Lando we've ever gotten. So there was a VOTC uh, Lando Calrissian that was released back in 2004. And I used to have that action figure. It's held up pretty good throughout the years. Um, we definitely need a new release. Too bad that it had to take us this long to get a definitive Lando, but regardless, we have one now, which is all that really matters. So the head sculpt there, phenomenal. Can't get much closer than that. The Baron's outfit that Lando has, it's perfect. Everything about this action figure is perfect. Very nice detailing in his cape there as well. The patterns. It's very nice. And the cut of this is very clean as well. Hopefully this doesn't fray someday. It doesn't feel like it would fray. They did a good job on his... Uh, collar there and you can take this cape off as well it's pretty loose on him all you have to do is just pop his head off and then can pull it off 
So in terms of the articulation, he does have a ball joint to neck there. It's a very nice range of motion and very fluid as well. He does have hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, and hinged wrists, and both of them go up and down. He does have a joint at the torso here. A lot of people do complain about that cut there, and I can understand why that is a problem. Personally to me, I think Lando, I would have been fine with just having a swivel waist for him, and then just do away with that cut altogether. Because it, it can look kind of awkward, and I can understand why some people just can't stand that. Lando's not exactly an action figure that needs all the ultra articulation for all these extreme action poses. So if Hasbro did do a swivel waist for this, I would have been okay with it. But it's fine as is for me. And then of course the hinge tips. Does have the swivel thigh there. Although mine's kind of tight. And he has the hinged knees as well. And hinged ankles. I think this was one of the last action figures to be released before they went all in on the rocker ankles. In terms of weapons and accessories, he just comes with the standard Rebel Blaster that we've gotten countless times before. Although the detailing in this is a little bit different. Still in there. Does look a little more carboned, I should say. A lot of silver detailing in that. These are nicely designed blasters. One last look at Lando here. Well, other than that, that's all there really is to say about Lando. Would I recommend him for your collection? Definitely. It's the perfect Lando in 3 3 quarter inch scale. And if you could only have one for your collection, this is the one Lando to get. And of course, you don't have to look too hard for him because you can find him at just about every retailer still, as of the time of this video, that is. And even when some years go by, I imagine Lando will not be that hard to find. The Skiff Guard Lando that was released in the TBC line previously Still a relatively easy figure to get, and uh, I, last I checked a couple weeks ago, you could still get it on Walmart.com and find them for $7, $8 for that Skiff Guard Lando. So the uh, General Lando Calrissian released earlier in the TVC line, that one's a pretty easy one to get as well, and that figure's been out for over a decade now. Of course, if you get it carded, it's a little bit more, but if you're looking for just a Lando to get loose or the card's not very mint, you can find them for a decent price. And this one will probably be in that same category as well for many years to come. So anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more reviews in the future. There will be plenty more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate the support. And check out that Instagram link in the description as well. More content will be coming on that. And thanks for watching.